port window. We'll pull it up here to help you when you're, you know, sitting up there trying to record something or playback. And here's our basic transport window view, as you can see right here. It's a floating window, so it can go anywhere within this window right here on our Pro Tools session, right? You're not outside of that window, obviously. See that? Good. It's a floating window. Next, this here, this little button here is for syncing. You might want to sync with another machine, maybe an MPC or a drum machine or a sampler or a video machine or maybe an analog tape. You can sync with it here. This is return to zero to the top of our song. Right here is a rewind. This is fast forward and this is go to the end. And here obviously this is stop and this is play and record. Now, if you right click the play, you get four other options here in a little list. We have half speed, means you can play the track at half speed. We have prime for playback, loop, and dynamic transport. I'll explain more of these in other videos as we go along. Right now, I'm just going to give you a great overview of our transport window. Here we have record enable. And of course, right click here. And we have other options as well. We have normal, always selected, loop record, destructive record, and record quick punch. Now these two other things here, this is for record enable status. It's an LED, so it lights up when we're recording. And this is input status LED. Let's light up. We want to see the inputs of several tracks going by. You may be playing a song, and you'll see the input levels play. I'll give you an idea of what's going on the input levels into that track. If something's here, we're recording in, we'll see the input levels. Here, this little button here opens up more options. We can add a counter in case you want to know where we are in the session. I'm not too sure we are. You know the counter's right here in our overall top toolbar. You can put the counter right here in our floating transport window. And we can change our counter to any counter uh, parameter we want to have, whether it's going to be minutes and seconds, time code, feet and frames, and samples. Now, I like to have an expanded view sometimes, so I'm going to go here and we'll click Expanded Transport. And here, we can see just about everything that comes with this transport. We can also add MIDI control. We can add synchronization. I'm going to see everything. I can go to minimal or all. And that's how we can change the view of our transport. Now here we have pre-roll and we have post-roll. Now pre-roll means before we start recording or before we get started, I'll press 2 and there's a pre-roll there. We've got two bars. So two bars prior to happen, we're right there. I can go to a post-roll. I can press 2. And this means that, let's say I want to start from somewhere in my song. I'll stop. And I'm going to start from right, let's say, here. And I'll press play. See, it starts two bars prior to that. And if I'm in record, it'll stop two bars after I start recording. So I get a little pre-roll and a post-roll. It's really cool when you want to give someone a little space before recording vocals and a little trail out after you record those vocals. Here, of course, is our stop start. I can say, well, I want to start at bar five. I press five, press enter, and press play, and we're starting at bar three. Why? Because we have a pre-roll, post-roll. If I go to here and press zero, and press enter, and press play, we start from bar five. Here, we have a sub-counter under our counter. So, for example, here you see I have the beats and bars, my top counter, and the lower counter, I'm controlling the minutes and seconds. Now here, we have wait note for MIDI. We have the metronome, MIDI merge, and conductor. I'll cover more of these later on other videos as we talk further about recording within Pro Tools. Now next I want to show you one more thing here in case you want to have that. Let me close this out. And I go here to window and go to big counter. Sometimes I'm not really close to the computer. I could be across the room or something doing a vocal or working with some vocals or something in the background or playing my bass guitar. I can't see this. I want to extend it bigger. So I'll go right here 
I make it real big. That way I can see it. Now, see, how that's pretty big. And you can see the counter in case you want to, you know, know where you are. If you don't know beats and bars, go to beats and bars. If you want to do the minutes and seconds, you can do that. You can go to time code and samples. It's a really great way for you to actually view the position of the counter from anywhere in the room from your computer.